fam, that's what they call me I promise that you never be lonely Be the fam, that's what they call me what is going on, Danger Squad? It's your boy, Moto Guys, and I know we've been going here for a few weeks, but guys, we're going to get back in the full swing of things. Um, videos are going to be slightly different to be a little more transparent for what they actually are. These guys are educational documentary videos for various reptiles and venomous species. So we're going to be posting a little bit about what you can learn on the internet as fun little facts throughout the video. And then you guys also get to see firsthand how all this stuff actually works. Alright guys, I'm not going to be talking as much in these videos this week. I am trying to get over a cold so I don't sound right. But here we go guys, we're going to jump up in this. These guys should be pretty hungry. Boom. Oh, wow. That was weird. Usually he holds on. Check him out. He's nice and shiny, looking beautiful. You guys see back there's a little shed. And guys, for whoever owns snakes, you guys already know. As long as they're shedding and Doing their dirty business, guys. You know they're doing good. Now we got him in the back. He definitely gave him a dose of venom. He is over here hanging out. I'm thinking he thinks that mouse is a little too wide, so he's not risking getting hurt, so that's why he didn't stay a hold. These guys are very intelligent, more so than what people give them credit for. Yeah. He's over here in the cut. Don't mind those hard water spots, guys. I'm figuring out how to get rid of those. What you guys hear in the background is my tangerine western diamondback, which this week we will be feeding to, along with the golden puff adder and our masasagas. And guys, also in the mix of all of our. Uh, the feeding videos and stuff, you know, about the showing you guys how the venom takes effect. We are also going to be doing our cleaning videos where you guys can actually see us taking taking these snakes out, seeing how we do it, the precautions we take, and all that. There's a really, there's a lot of stuff that goes into keeping all these guys, especially when you have as many as I do.
you guys see, the venom was relatively quick. Now their venom actually paralyzes the prey. And shuts down everything after that. hear you bro I know you're hungry I got you and guys by all means if you guys have any questions comment below and I will do my best to answer everybody You guys want to check out who's making all that racket? Check him out. He is mad. He is like, yo, why are you not feeding me first, bro? All right, guys, let's get back to what we're doing. Now the Cape Coral Cobras, they are some of the most beautiful species of cobra. And yes, yes guys, I know the ones out there that are want to be politically correct or whatever, they are not true cobras, but neither is the King Cobra. But nonetheless, boys, it's still a little cobra. We ain't got nothing but that. Spicy little chicken leg hanging out, guys. It's really interesting how they walk it back. Guys, I think we're gonna cut this out right here. That little spicy noodles are missed the whole way down. Get 
close up of that pretty thing. Check in there. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and as always, I will catch you on the next one.